Today we are going to create a full block business letter. Business letters are letters from one company to another or from a company to a customer. And we already dealt with memos, which are writings within a company. Now business letters are writings from one company to another. So we have our notes on our left. I'll do an example on my right. To start, as always, we want to insert our header. All right. Um, before I begin, one thing I want to note, you always want size 12 font and Times New Roman, which I already have here. So let's insert our header and we'll pick the blank three columns. I'll type my name. I'll type the date of this recording. And then I'll type the block, which is block two. Then in my close group, I will close my header footer. We want to make sure number two, we are in the no spacing style. So I want to go to my styles group here in my home tab and click no spacing. Number three, I'm going to change my margins, similar, the exact same margins as our memo. So under the page layout tab in my page setup group, we're going to go to margins and we're going to create a custom margin. Just like memos, we want two inches on the top, all right, and left, right, and bottom are all one inches. So the first thing I'm going to do, now I'm going to get into the actual writing of the business letter. I'm going to start with the return address. So I'm going to type that in here. This is just an example that I have. Let me just fix this. All right. And we'll say in Brooklyn, New York, four. And we'll put today's date, which is November 30th, 2015. So that is the return address. All right. I also included the date right below. Now I want to press enter four times. So I have my insertion point at the end of the date. I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard four times. One, two, three, four. And now on number seven, I'm going to add in the delivery address, who this is going to. All right, so I'm going to type in the name here. One eight two five Melbourne Avenue, and we'll go Flushing, New York one three six seven three three five one. Okay, so it's going to Miss Julie Hutchinson, and now I'm going to I am on number eight double space one two. And if you look at number nine, I'm going to include my salutation. So use your dear Julie, hello Julie. I'm going to go dear Julie. Okay. And then once I'm done my salutation, I'm going to double space again. So hit enter twice. So I have my insertion point to the right of Julie. Enter twice. And now this is where I'm going to begin typing the body of the letter. And just like memos, paragraphs are single, single spaced but they're double spaced in between. I already have that copied on my clipboard, so I'm just going to paste. It's going to take fix any errors. All right, but as you can see, just, all right, that, making sure that this is Times New Roman 12 point font. Right. That looks a lot better. So, Always have to make sure you're on Times New Roman 12 point font unless otherwise specified. I put in or I would have typed the body of my letter, which is here. You can see that all the paragraphs are single spaced. Between paragraphs, I have a space in between, so they are double spaced. And now I am on number 12, which is the closing. So when I'm done typing the body of my letter, I'm going to double space, more space between paragraphs. And usually I would type in sincerely. Now I'm going to press enter four times on step 13. So my insertion point is to the right of sincerely. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to, you would then type in the author's name. So for this, the author's name is, we'll put Tony Dunworthy. Okay, so that was my closing. 
I quadruple call spaced and number 13, 14 I put the author. All right. Now I'm going to double space. Step 15, just fix this done worthy. 1 2 and on 16 I'm going to put my initials, okay? Because I am not Tony. All right, I put the I created the letter, although it's not from me. So I'm just going to put my initials. All right. And then step 17, I'm going to double space. So on the right of my initials, double space. We got to make sure these stay lowercase. Of course, Word will automatically change that. So once I double spaced, I'm going to type an enclosure. What that means is if, I, if there is an attachment with the letter, all right, I'm going to type in the word enclosure. If there is not, I'm not going to type in the word enclosure. For this case, I'm going to pretend that there is enclosure, and I am done. And that is a full block business letter. I have the return address, delivery address, have my salutation at the body of my letter, closing, and then I have the author, the person who wrote it, which would be yourself, unless it is coming from you, and then enclosure, if there is an attachment, if there's not, you can get rid of this enclosure here. So steps to writing a full block business letter.